So what I want to do is, is go over the existing policy that's in place. This was uh, amended in 2006. This has been on the books. This is before our time. Uh, I want to summarize to you what the existing policy says so that we can come back as a group to say, what else do we want to see in this policy uh, before we actually have to, to do anything. So now is a good time to do it. So the mission of, of, of the relocation policy is intended to reduce the impact of homeowners, renters, business owners, and business tenants as a result of real property acquisition. Uh, the general policy of this is, is only effective for non-federal funding, which is the area of TIF funding. Uh, federal funding, of course, you have to use the, the um, Uniform Relocation Act, which is federal funding. So this slide shows for residential relocations. The homeowner must own the property for two years, uh, moving and relocation expenses up to $15,000 per property. That's what the, the existing plan says. For renters, this came about very quickly. This has not been a, a long-term plan that we have been brewing and sleeping over. This has come to this committee about two months ago. Uh, the deal was that this was listed for two and a half million dollars. This is in the heart of our Commerce Park. This is the plan Commerce Park that has been on the, on the books for quite some time. When I talk about Commerce Park, I'm not looking at just warehouse. We're talking about Class A office space uh, with retail, with also a possibility of a future hotel. So when you look at Commerce Park, you're not just looking at warehouses like on the west side of 95. You're looking at Class A office space. This is one of the, the, the biggest opportunities that we can, we can make an impact for this community. If you're looking at jobs, this is the time where we can work on a community benefits package. Uh, you know, before we put out the RFP, get the community benefits package in place and require the developers to bring to the table hiring locals or getting the tradesmen involved. This is the opportunity to get everything that, that you all want uh, in a redevelopment project. Now, the, the downside of this is, yes, there are um, some concerns. There's the Jones Court. The time that we're going to close on this is not immediate. We have about 90 days. 90 days that we're, we're going through the environmental phase to make sure that, is this property worth purchasing? We don't own this property. We are under contract. We're doing our due diligence now. And now is the time to start talking about the relocation policy. We have one in place. It came before the CRA, Northwest CRA advisory about two months ago. And it was their concern, and I believe it was Ms. Tolkien that brought it up, was what are we going to do about the displacement? If you're going to start doing redevelopment, you need to look at the relocation policy. Thank you,
relocate an affidavit for all the pay for. My house is paid for. So when you relocate me, you're going to put me on a piece of land and property that's paid for? Because there's so much that I can say. But to tell someone that we are going to relocate you, you didn't ask me anything. But to the committee, I want to know why. I never came to your house and said, I'm going to relocate you. 